Hey guys, welcome to uh, Small Groups. I uh, hope you've settled in, and I know you're going to have a great time uh, with your with your group this morning. Last week, we heard from Ms. Mr. Cantrell, who did an amazing job just sharing with us some of his personal testimony. Here's what the book of Revelation says, and we overcame by the power of the blood and the word of their testimony. There is power in our personal testimony, and so I hope you enjoyed that time, and just want to ask you to to ponder a few questions that Mr. Cantrell has given us uh, that will help lead our discussion time today. Number one, as you think about your own life and personal testimony, how do you see the Lord carrying you through hard situations? Uh, Mr. Cantrell gave a great example of this uh, with his parents' separation last week. What's going on in your life where you see God at work? Uh, question number two, do you feel confident that the people with whom you spend the most time truly care for you? That they truly care for you? And I, I want you to really think deeply about that and even talk about it. And maybe even rhetorically, you need to ask yourself this question, is their friendship somewhat conditional? Uh, if things go bad, uh, are they out of your life? Or are they still with you through the good times and the bad? Third question, uh, all throughout the Bible, we find lots of men and women who made huge mistakes yet were giants in their faith and they were never cast away uh, by God. Uh, how does that encourage you? And why don't you just talk about some of the examples that you're able to come up with uh, for, this, for this scenario? And our last question today, what kind of encouragement, um, or, or excuse me, in what ways could your life serve as a testimony to others of God's faithfulness? In what ways could your life serve as a testimony to others of God's faithfulness? Mr. Cantrell gave us a uh, uh, testimony of God's faithfulness last week, and I know we were all certainly encouraged by it. How could your testimony be an encouragement to someone else? All right, talk about those things, guys, and let's have a great small group today. God bless you guys. <laughs>